Welcome to Avia. In this video, we will explore a demo dataset for 3D cell analysis. Go to File, Open. In the demo data, 3D cell analysis demo folder, select the image and click Open. By default, Avia loads the image in 2D or main view. You can navigate across the Z stack using the slider below the image. Click on the 3D view button above the image to show the data in 3D. In 3D view, you can use the mouse to interact with the data set. Use the left mouse button to rotate the image. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And the right mouse button to pan the data. Right now, the image is rendered in composite view. Click on any of the view buttons to change the rendering mode. Let's go to the Maximum Intensity Projection view. You can adjust the slider on each channel to change the display brightness of the image. Drag the slider to the right to make the channel dimmer, and vice versa. In some cases, the slider may be behind the channel name. You can toggle the display of individual channels using this icon on the channel. Below the channel display, you will find the Object Set Settings. Click on the icon to show the analysis results. To make viewing the objects easier, turn off all the channels. This cell analysis data contains several components. The whole cell, in green, all the nuclei in pink, and four additional sets of subcellular structures. Just like the channel display, you can turn off individual object sets by clicking on the icon. You can also hide the display by adjusting the object transparency using the slider. There are a few ways to look at the object measurements. The first way, you can view the measurements by going to the Spreadsheet tab below the image. Each object set will have its own set of measurements. Use this dropdown to choose a different data set. Let's select Vesicle 2. The spreadsheet automatically updates, and you can see different measurements that are associated with this object set. Another way you can view the data is through the charts in the Analysis Tools section. Use the drop down menu to select the chart type, for example, a histogram. When you click on the axis name, you will be able to choose a measurements to plot. Let's go to Fescule 2 and select the measurement for distance to the nearest edge of the nucleus. You can click on the bar to select all of the objects in the group, which is highlighted in white on the image. You can choose to show only the selected objects by clicking on this button in the 3D display options to hide all the others. Let's go back to showing all of the objects. Another way to visualize the data is through object coloring. Let's look at where the objects in Fesco 2 set are in relation to the nucleus. In the color column, click on the square and change the coloring option to color by measurement. Below, you can select the measurement and the display color will update automatically. Use the slider to manipulate the range to make the object stand out better. And the option below that allows you to change the coloring scheme. 